In this short video we'll walk through the installation of UFT1 and provide a few tips along the way. After downloading UFT, unzip the files to a temporary folder on your PC. Launch the setup program, keeping in mind that it requires local administrator permissions to do the installation. The setup menu provides a list of applications to install. Let's click UFT1 Setup, which is the first option at the top. The installer will check whether your PC has all the software prerequisites, and will download anything that's missing. The setup wizard continues. Let's proceed to the next screen. Accept the license agreement and choose whether you want to create shortcuts on your desktop or Windows Start menu. The first screen allows us to choose UFT components to install. Here, since we'll be using UFT with ALM, we will select the ALM plugin. The AI features are installed by default, but can be turned off if needed. In the add-ins tree, choose the application technologies that you will be testing. For our demo we'll deselect ActiveX and Visual Basic, and install PDF and .NET add-ins. You can install or modify add-ins later if needed. Click Next to continue. This configuration screen configures settings for UFT to work with web browsers, ALM, and UFT scripting. Since we will not be using Internet Explorer, we don't need to configure those settings. But we will be using UFT1 with ALM, and we may also want to use it with a CI system as well. Choose the options that are applicable and then click the Install button. The setup program will now proceed to unpack the files, install the binaries and register all the components and settings chosen. This process can take up to 5 minutes in some cases. We've shortened this video in the interests of time. When the installation is finished, click the Finish button. It's important to review the README file because it provides important updates about integrations and any known issues. With UFT1 now installed, let's launch it from our desktop using the shortcut. Since we haven't yet installed our license key or connected to our license server, we will get a license warning. Here we can choose to either enter a license key or connect the UFT machine to our AutoPass license server on our network. Let's click Continue to proceed with the launch. The optional startup screen allows us to enable or disable add-ins which we will use in our test scripts. These are the add-ins that we selected during our installation wizard. Because we selected the option for ALM to connect to this machine, we will need to allow the UFT1 application to communicate over the firewall. Now click OK and in a few seconds our UFT1 environment is ready to use. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates and how-tos.